Hi friends, in this section I am going to explain how to evaluate the definite integral using type 1. I have already explained the procedure and problem detailed in the previous video. Now I am going to solve another problem using type 1. The question is evaluate integral dx divided by a plus sin square x where x varies from 0 to pi by 2 and a value greater than 1. In type 1, the question is of the form integral 0 to 2 pi function of cos theta sin theta. But in this problem given the integral is of the form integral 0 to pi by 2 function of x dx. So first we have to convert this integral in terms of theta and then applying type 1 procedure. Solution Integral 0 to pi by 2 dx divided by a plus sin square x equal to Integral 0 to pi by 2 dx divided by a plus Substitute sin square x value here Sin square x equal to 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 Now take LCM in the denominator We get 2a plus 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 This 2 goes to the numerator now substitute this 2x value equal to theta that is convert this integral in terms of theta. Now differentiating both sides we get 2 into x differential value dx equal to theta differential value d theta. Now change the limit also here x varies from 0 to pi by 2. So when x equal to 0 by equation number 2 we get theta equal to 0. And if x equal to pi by 2 from equation number 2, we can write theta equal to 2 into pi by 2. That is pi. Therefore, theta varies from 0 to pi. So, equation number 1 becomes integral 0 to pi by 2 dx divided by a plus sin square x. This equal to integral 0 to pi d theta divided by 2a plus 1 minus cos theta. Type 1, the limit from 0 to 2 pi. But here the limit from 0 to pi. So we can write the 0 to pi is equal to 1 by 2 into integral 0 to 2 pi. So which is of the form integral 0 to 2 pi function of cos theta d theta. So which is of type 1. So in type 1, the procedure is just to convert the given integral in terms of Z and then using Cauchy's residue theorem we can simplify the integral. So first substitute Z equal to e power i theta. Now differentiating both sides we get the differential value of Z is dz equal to differential value of e power i theta is e power i theta into i into theta differential value d theta. That is i into e power i theta value is Z into d theta that is d theta equal to d z by i z also we know cos theta value equal to e power i theta plus e power minus i theta divided by 2 that is equal to e power i theta value is z plus e power minus i theta is 1 by e power i theta that is 1 by z whole divided by 2 now take LCM in the numerator, we get z square plus 1 divided by 2z. Now substitute these values in equation number 3, we get integral 0 to pi by 2 dx divided by a plus sin square x equal to integral over z, substitute d theta value that is dz by iz divided by 2a plus 1 minus cos theta value z square plus 1 by 2z where c is a circle mod z equal to 1 because by our assumption z equal to e power i theta take modulus on both sides we get modulus of z equal to modulus of e power i theta that is modulus of e power i theta is 1 therefore modulus of z equal to 1 which is a circle with the center 0 and radius 1 now this integral can be rewritten as 1 by 2 in the integral over c 2 is a d z divided by i z the whole into 4 a z plus 2 z minus z square minus 1. 
Now this 2 is at and this 2 is at is cancelled. We get 1 by i into this integral. And here the denominator contains the imaginary term i. So multiply and divided by 1i. We get the denominator is i into i, i square. i square value is minus 1 and numerator is i. So the next step is minus i into interval over c. d is at divided by rearrange the denominator in this order that is z square then z term then constant term but in z square term we have one minus symbol so take minus by outside then remaining term z square minus of 4a plus 2 the whole into z plus 1 that is equal to this minus minus cancel we get i into interval over c d z by z square minus 4 minus of 4a plus 2 the whole in dz plus 1. Let us assume this function is f of z, so which is of the form interval over c f of z dz, where f of z equal to 1 by z square minus of 4a plus 2 the whole in dz plus 1. We know by Cauchy's residue theorem interval over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues of f of z at each of its poles which lies inside of the given curve c that is the given circle mod z equal to 1. So to apply this Cauchy's residue theorem first we have to find the pole of the given function. The poles are the root of this denominator. So First, we have to find the root of the denominator. So, let us assume the denominator is equal to 0. Then, find the value of z. That is, find the roots. So, which is of the form z square. That is, a z square plus b z plus c is equal to 0. So, using the formula, z equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, we get z equal to 4a plus 2 plus r minus root of 4a plus 2 the whole square minus 4 whole divided by 2 that is equal to 4a plus 2 plus or minus root of 16a square plus 16a plus 4 minus 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 4a plus 2 plus or minus here minus 4 plus 4 cancel and in the previous two terms we have 16 is common so take 16 by outside of this root we get 4 into root of a square plus a, the whole divided by 2. And in this numerator, 2 is common, so take 2 by outside. And this numerator 2, denominator 2 is cancelled. Finally, we get z equal to 2a plus 1 plus or minus 2 into root of a square plus a. That is, we have z equal to 2a plus 1 plus 2 into root of a square plus a. And the another root is z equal to 2a plus 1 minus 2 into root of a square plus a. So we have to assume the first root is alpha and the second root is beta. Therefore this f of z can be rewritten as f of z equal to 1 by z minus first root alpha into z minus second root. And here alpha and beta are the simple poles. And alpha lies outside of the given circle mod z equal to 1 and beta lies inside of the circle mod z equal to 1. Because given a value is greater than 1, a be an unknown constant. Now choose any value for a. That value must be greater than 1. So let us assume a equal to 2 and now substitute a value in equation number 5. We get alpha equal to 5 plus 2 into root 6. And beta equal to 5 minus 2 into root 6. That is alpha value equal to 9.899. This value is greater than 1. And beta value equal to 0 0.101. This value is less than the radius 1. Alpha lies outside of the given circle mod z equal to 1. And beta lies inside of the given circle mod z equal to 1. And we know that if a is a pole of order 1, then residue of f of z at a value equal to limit z tends to a 
z minus a into f of z. Here alpha be the pole of order 1 but which lies outside of the given circle. So don't find the residue. And here beta only lies inside of the given circle. So we have to find the residue of f of z at beta only. And here beta is a pole of order 1. So residue of f of z at beta equal to limit z tends to beta z minus beta in the f of z. Now substitute f of z value here. We get z minus beta into 1 by z minus alpha into z minus beta. Here z minus beta, z minus beta is cancelled. And now apply the limit z tends to beta. We get 1 by beta minus alpha. Now substitute beta and alpha value here. We get 1 divided by 2a plus 1 minus 2 into root of a square plus a. Then minus of 2a plus 1 plus 2 into root of a square plus a. And here 2a plus 1 is cancelled. So finally we get minus 2 times root of a square plus a and minus 2 times root of a square plus a. That is minus 4 times root of a square plus a. So residue value equal to 1 divided by minus 4 into root of a square plus a. Now substitute this value in equation number 4 we get integral 0 to pi by 2 dx divided by a plus sin square x equal to i into 2 pi i into residue of f of z at beta. That is minus 2 pi into 1 divided by minus 4 into root of a square plus a. And here minus 2 minus 4 is cancelled. Finally, we get pi divided by 2 into root of a square plus a.